Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. The uh, quality of life upgrade, and I got a whole bunch of stuff I want to do this episode. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, maybe I'll just say what I want to do first. I do want to get this metal refinery stuff sorted out, <laughs> sorted out that I had started last episode. I got a bit of water water flow over water overflow problem going on here. Um, and I want them to be able to dig this down lower, but it's way too hot in here for dupes to go in there. So what I'm going to do is move this exosuit dock up to here. I think it'll work there much better. So I'm going to pre-build another one. Actually, this line is going to be in the way of it. Hmm. We'll just have to probably move that pipe. I usually, I usually build them up at the, near the top of the base so that the whole lower part of the map can be exosuits, but... And maybe I should have stuck with that this time. I don't know. That's usually what I do. Uh, let's see. What I really wanted to do was have exosuit docks out the side and then kind of transport lines along the outside. And maybe I'll do that eventually. But for now, we'll just we'll just stick them here. Okay, so stations, exosuit dock, make them out of gold. Right here, I'll do five of them, I guess. Speed the game up here. Now we do have one stressed out dupe. Red is stressed out, and Snappy is now Snappy in quotes because Snappy's maybe not so snappy. But red. Red has got uh, master artist skills, so her morale requirements are really high. Red, where are you? Here. Requirements of 20. So we need some other ways to get the morale up. So we'll get these built uh, first. And what should I do with my oxygen line? We needed a secondary oxygen line anyway. So maybe what I'll do is branch over this. I don't want too much branching. I want two dedicated oxygen lines going up to the top. So let's do this. Priority eight. I'll split off here. Come up this way. Guess we'll have to go all the way up here. And I'll tie in there eventually. Oh, well, it's gonna take a long time, so we're gonna speed it up here. Get that pipe built. We might even need more igneous rock, so what I might do is start digging some of this out. I probably probably wanna do my oil refinery in this area here. Okay, they need access to this, so we gotta dig this out. Take this door out, I guess. Gotta figure out how exactly I wanna do this. Let's put some bridges in. going up and I think what I'll do is I'll cut this line stick this going in that way I got some comments about my oxygen lines down here as well they are uh, they have some issues definitely the way it's uh, the way it's all split up here, it's really messed up. I should... It's got an issue right here. You can see where it's kind of branching. So I'm going to have to redo that. And these are coming out anyway, so I'll... I guess I'll rip those out now. Is anyone down there right now? You... Go away for now. 
Let's take all this out. Hopefully there's no one. No, there's no one down there because all the suits are there. Uh oh, they went down there anyway. Little buggers. Okay, I guess I'll just keep their suit on. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Let's put the dock up here. I should have really built it here so we could put a whole bunch in. But I'll stick it there for now. This all needs power. So I'm going to have to bring on this power line that I had already. Put a bridge there. And some iron wire. And we'll put some suits in. Oh, can they even get in here? Let's deliver some suits. What are, oh, they can't get there to build the power line. Okay, now they got a suit, so. And oxygen is going in there. Sort of. No, it's not. It should be. But they can't even get in there. So we're going to have to turn this to... Or just disable it, I guess. And hope they don't go down into the oil. So i got to split these lines up here. Hmm. Don't really need these tanks anymore. Take these out. My piping's a mess. Okay. What's going on with the oxygen here? What have I done? Oh yeah, I just dis dis disconnected all that. Okay, so we're gonna go straight through like that. Take all this out. That's flowing again. Okay, this is filling up the suits finally. Okay, let's do a dedicated line. Okay, so we've got two lines here. They're all merging into the same thing. That's no good. So what I'm going to do is a pipe right here. Uh, let's go over this way. making a bit of a sp spaghetti mess here. So that's going to go up. This will be for this dedicated line. I really do need some sorting here. But I'll have to put that up by the exosuits. Take this all out. Take that out, take that out. Now everyone should abide by the suits from now on. Okay, I'll make this dedicated to the suits. Well, it is kind of dedicated. And then this one. I think I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> this I should have planned out a little bit better. So it'll fill up the suits before it goes up to that line. And then the other line will go like that. The animation gets a little bit messed up when it's this fast. But I want to pack a lot into the episode, so that's why I'm doing it this way. That out.
They should be able to get get this in there. Wrong element damage. Crap already. Okay, we need a filter. Um What a mess. What a mess. Uh, okay. Um I didn't really leave it in a room to do anything. So I'm gonna have to go around something or I'm gonna filter it right here, I guess, because there's room. So we'll do filter right here. Filtered output will be oxygen. That's gonna go right into there. Everything else can go right here. That'll need power. Okay. That can go. Oh, we're overpressured with CO2. Imagine that. Let's get some suits delivered. I'm probably over capacity on the power line here. What do we got? Oh no, 840. Got a little bit to spare. And let's select oxygen. And it's flowing. Good. Okay, so we get oxygen to the suits. We've got a second dedicated line here. And that's just only going to here for now. But that's okay. At least now they can safely get in here to fix this problem that I've made, which is to get some more space here. Really need to bring this down. Let's go straight down here. We got a lot of coal and algae down here, so we can just build a giant tank. Because this is a disaster here. It's all overflowing. In fact, I should probably remove this line for now, because it's... Yikes. I'm going to disable this for now. We just got too much water. We got way too much water. I should almost cap this off. Instead of just making it larger and larger hole to store it. I don't want to use the com over compression exploit. I just want to store things normally. I think I'm going to cap this thing off for now though. It's really too much. We'll move this line. Now, don't get stuck in there, dupes. I know you're good at that. Okay, once we get this ladder in here, I'll strip mine down, 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 down. We'll move our pump down. And then we'll reopen this, because right now it's a, it's a bit of a disaster. And we got to get this water out of here at some point. Not quite getting enough oxygen there. Let's make sure this is all working properly now. That should be good. That should be good. We're not fully saturating the line, but that's okay. CO2 is backed up. That's a problem. Okay, we'll save. Oh, I'll just keep going with that. And we need to make a space for all this oil to go. So I'm thinking of going right down here. I'll use igneous rock. We'll go straight down to here. I'll leave three tiles worth of stuff. I don't want to go in here because it's going to hit this abyss light that's at 200 degrees. And the oil will turn into sour gas. There's a bug right now. It's been a bug for a while that uh, causes that. So we gotta let all this oil and water flow down. Make 
uh, make some room on either side here. So I got water in my oil supply, which is no good. And I need some kind of scaffolding here so they can start digging all this out. And I was heading over this way. I am going to continue out over here. Scalding. Oh yeah, this hydrogen vent. Let's get a little toasty here. Hmm. I'm going to cap this as well. Oh, we can't really go in there. Crap. Okay, let's do this. We're going to trap all that heat in there. And hydrogen. Oh, it's got phosphorus in there. Crazy. Did anyone get really burnt? Oh yeah, Snappy did. I'm gonna lock them out of there. I'm build some insulation underneath as well. And I gotta deal with this. And the problem with that's going on here is that my filtered output has nowhere to go. So we're gonna stick a stick a bridge in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's take this vent out. This pump should really be at the top of the room, but it is not. So I'll do that and that. And we'll take this line down here. It's probably still going to be overpressurized here, but we'll find out in a second. And we'll store all that hydrogen away, at least at, at this level. But it's night time. Okay, that's flowing again. Should suck up all that hydrogen. Okay, good. What what are we gonna do next? Uh I gotta get my iron, I gotta start refining iron. I kinda don't want it here either, but let's just do iron forever. That'll get water flowing through here. So we've got coolant coming in at minus six. It's coming out at 28, which is a good temperature for the reed fiber here, which we're gonna need a lot of eventually. So I'm gonna actually extend this over this way. That was some turbo digging. And I'm gonna put some more of these in hydro hydroponic tiles along here. And that should suck up all the water that's coming out of the metal refinery. Because these things use a ton of blue to water. And a ton. I, I, I mean, I, I, I can't even talk. They use a ton. 160 kilograms per cycle. So we need to use even more here. How warm is it here? 32. These can go up to 37. So should be good. We got to get snappy cured for ailments. These medbeds should be priority nine. 
And I destroyed my rec room last time, so I'm thinking of putting that back in. Also have some snazzy suits here. I have to get on different dupes, so let's get snappy in one of those. Flooding. Okay, that's off screen. We don't care about that. Where the heck are we? Okay, we gotta keep digging down here. Big time. So we're gonna let this out. Strip mine that. And poke a hole in this so it all flows down. this out, I guess. So I'm trying to lower the level here. What do we have in here? Polluted oxygen, sour gas. Trying to lower the level here, and then we'll put our oil pump at the bottom. In fact, we can we can put that in now. Gold amalgam. I kind of don't want to put it on this line. I might do another transformer. This should all be off my power grid, but I don't want to. I'm too lazy to put the lines all the way down from here. So I might just run it off all this coal. It's getting a little bit warmer in here now, finally. Okay, we're gonna continue to strip mine. But we can't, can't go over here. <laughs> Don't wanna empty that out. And we're gonna do, I guess igneous rock pipe up here. It doesn't need to be Insulated up until about here. And then we'll use insulated igneous rock. And we'll take that all the way up here. All the way up here. That's in the way, so let's go over here. Actually, right to about here, because I think I'm going to do my oil, oil refinery in here. So we'll start to strip mine this as well. and then power. Let's do another heavy watt wire joint plate here. Oh, I could have built over it, actually. That's a new, a new thing you can do. And then a transformer. Small one's fine, out of gold. Right there. Heavy watt wire in there, and regular wire out this side. And then we're gonna cut off this wire here. And we can take out that bridge and there we go. Oopsie. Okay. Wire bridge deconstruct. So this line will power this water pump and this oil pump. So let's bring that bring that up. Gold? Do I want to use gold? Uh no. Let's use iron. Hopefully I don't think it I don't think it'll melt. I just made it. There we go, straight up like that. And 
And we'll strip mine a bit more here. So all this should flow down to this low point at some point. Power's done. And I need a bridge here. And the oil setup. Okay, I gotta plan this out a bit. We need a liquid lock. Got some plants in there we can use. And I'm gonna trap them if I'm not careful. melting away. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> That's probably enough room. I'm going to keep going though. We're going to let this chlorine out. Are they going to get stuck here? I think they're stuck. I think we need a ladder right there. No, we don't. Well, maybe I did. Okay. I want to leave a bit of room for the power to be able to grow down, so we might... I'll probably just mine this all out to the bottom. So I'm going to do... Scaffolding. I'm not really thinking about this as I do it. I'm just doing it. <laughs> as you can probably tell. Or I could just do floors. Uh, okay. Do I want this to be insulated? I don't... Yeah, let's make it insulated. Or do we want the heat to get out? I'll use it. I'll, I'll insulate it. Then we'll do our cooling inside. This is going to be much easier than my, my ladder approach. Do floors that are four high. There we go. Should probably be doing some research, so let's get that going. Basic rocketry. So I'm going to do a liquid lock into this room, maybe right here. Actually, it makes more sense if it's near the top. Let's do one more floor with granite four high in case I want to extend my power room here. Kind of like that. Then this will be the oil refinery room. So 
So I'm going to need a liquid lock. I'm going to stick that right in here somewhere. I want to leave room for a tube, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. So that's going to be the bottom right there. Okay, that's where the liquid lock's going to go. Plumbing in there. We want a bottle emptier. Now, what should I use? I think I'll use. Let's just dig this out while we're waiting. I think it'll be safe to use water. I don't think this is going to get up to 100 degrees, so we'll just use water. Already seven. Enable auto bottle. Now you can copy the settings now, but it doesn't copy the auto bottle. Unless they fixed it. Nope, they didn't. I don't think I have a water pump anywhere. Oh yeah, I do. Never mind. Let's put some more temp shift ice plates in here. Lots of cold water in there. I could probably be putting some... Oh, I've... what's going on here? I forgot to extend the pipe. Okay, that should get our refining back online. Probably should put a wheeze word here or something. Oh, we got arrow pots now. Oh, we got a lot of fancy paintings and stuff now. Now we're going to be swimming in reed fiber pretty soon here because of all this uh, refining output. As long as it stays the right temperature. Do we have any wheeze warts? Oh, we got one. Okay, this is going swimmingly well. It's actually done. So we want a thousand kilograms in the bottom tile and 200 at the top tile is fine. So now we've got to make this room airtight. And I want another floor under here. Let's do it. Uh like this, I guess. Gonna have some wasted space here. Oh, this didn't quite line up. <laughs> well, I don't need a whole lot, whole lot of room in here. Actually, I'm gonna. Put the ladder right here, down to the second floor. Uh, let's just actually go all the way down, I think. This is actually going to be a little bit Frankenstein. Let's just do that instead. And it should be insulated, but I'm just going to use granite. Some heat's going to leak out, I don't care. So I'm going to leave a two tile gap just so they can get in here and get out before we seal it all up. Clear that out. I'll insulate, I'll insulate this side once they get in here.
Okay, let's seal her up. Don't get trapped in there. Oh, are they going to be able to build that? Yeah. Okay, we can seal this now and that and they can escape. Okay, so we got a sealed airtight room, I think. That's all good, yeah. Now we can do the oil refinery. So, oil refinery. Make it out of gold so it doesn't melt. Leave some room for Weezworts. That's gonna go there. Our insulated oil pipe will come up from here. And go straight in there, like that. Now we could leave room for two. I don't usually do two, but could. I'll do a couple buffer tanks here. So I'll do a liquid reservoir out of gold right here and here. And insulated pipe is going to come down here into there. And then we're going to have it go out to a petroleum press, I think. Polymer press. Refinement. Polymer press. Gold. Has to be gold. Hooked up like that. Now we need power for all this, so what I'm going to do is actually use my power grid for, for once. And we're going to do a conductive wire. I guess I'm going to do it uh, along here. We're doing gold, right? Yeah. Uh, jump over here. Actually, we could just do heavy watt wire in there. That would make more sense, because we're going we're gonna to have a lot of high powered stuff in there. So yeah, let's do heavy watt wire. So I need a heavy watt joint plate. Let's stick that right here, I guess. So we'll do heavy watt wire to here. I could be using heavy conductive wire. How much gold do we have? 13,000. Let's use that actually. Save our regular metal. So heavy conductive wire, and you can mix these, it doesn't hurt anything. The decor hits a little bit lower. And I need another joint plate, so let's uh, put that in. I can't, oh, can I overlap them now? Did they change this? Nope. <laughs> I think he used to be able to. Maybe okay, that's going to go there, that's going to go there, like that. Okay, irrigation. How much, how much iron do I have now? Iron, 4200. So I want a little lip right here, and I didn't really leave room for one right here. I will put a heavy joint plate right here. Oh, I guess it's okay for him to be doing that. Uh, heavy watt conductive joint plate right here. This will serve as a lip, and then we'll dump a little bit of water in here to keep this cool. In fact, we can do it this way. Put a mesh tile here. And build some ice right here. Now I should probably put an exosuit dock in here for these guys to work in here. So this water strap, that water strap, and having a little dribble of water like this keeps these things quite cool. A lot cooler than they normally would be. That refinery is really loud.
They can't really work in here because there's no oxygen. So yeah, I really need an exosuit dock going in here. Didn't really need a whole lot of room there for it. Let's put a uh, station. Yeah, I need a checkpoint. This will work. This will work. Checkpoint here. We only need one. We only need one dupe in there at a time. Do a mesh tile here, and then we need a CO two line. We'll build that in a second. Our temperatures here are good. We got CO two down here. We need some oxygen down here. Oh, how's my oxygen level? Decent. I think I'll cut off this. I'll escape out of this pipe right here, just so we have a little bit of oxygen right, right here, so they can work in peace with oxygen. And which one do I have the filter on? Filters down here. This is the filtered line. So this I want to put in the exosuit dock. We have no room to do anything, so... I need some bridges. Because I didn't leave enough uh, room for sanity here. That'll go up, that'll go up, that'll go down. And then this'll come out, this'll come out, and this'll come out. Do it all priority. To deliver a suit here. I haven't checked my jobs in a while. Let's check the jobs. We've probably got so many promotions. Woken. Snappy. I'm just training every dupe in every job. Nisbet. Florian. Holy, so many promotions. Whatever jobs they haven't mastered, train them in. Okay, plumber, gopher, groundskeeper. Let's put that there. Now this is crappy decor. They're not going to like it in here. I'll probably redo my power at some point. Oh, they just grabbed some, they just grabbed some molten gold. Okay, CO2 line. This should be... Okay, we got a suit in there. That's good. We gotta join our CO2 line, which is right here. That could be fun. How do I want to do this? Um... We could bring it down into here. This is super hot CO2, so we gotta be careful. Right in there, that'll work. It's getting messier. And this petroleum's nice and warm at 75 degrees. Well, eventually I have to get this natural gas out of here, so I'll need a pump with a filter, but it'll be some time before it gets too pressurized. No one else can get in there to build this, so I gotta disable this. <laughs> so they can actually get in there and build it. And then we'll get our first bit of plastic. Put some airflow in here.
This is working beautifully. That's sucking up all that water, destroying it. How did this project go down here? I didn't really finish it. So I was going to strip mine all this out. Let's do that. There they go. This will be a very large tank. And we've just messed it up. But we can move that pump down. Gold at the bottom. Guess we'll use granite. Right to there, and then we'll take that pump out. And we need power. Use iron. Like so. Get a bit of scaffolding here. Find the edge. Not quite. Oh, there's a geyser in here, I think. Ooh. Wonder what that is. But this oil should last a long time. Especially if we liberate all this other oil. In fact, let's get over there. We'll go over here, get all this out of here. See what we have. I gotta free some of these slicksters so they can start eating the CO2 for us. I'm gonna do an igneous rock floor here. And strip mine this out. going until we hit the edge which we have that's the edge right there so there's tons of fossil in here fossil we can turn into lime lime plus iron plus uh, what's it called black stuff uh, coke no carbon with all that we can make uh, steel and since it's nice and cold in here, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a kiln right up here. And we can make we can make a carbon right here. It might get too warm up here at some point, but it's working for now. Food's been going down and that's fine. I want it to go down. Research. I think we're done all the research we can do. Oh, we can start this. Okay, that scared me. We'll have to get into space next episode, maybe. Okay, let's re-enable this. Oops. Now, I, I've seen some people buy, build like four or five, six oil refineries. And then five of them sit empty because there's not enough people to do stuff. I mean, I have nine idle now, so that's not really a problem, but... I've seen it happen. And I find that one is fine enough, as long as the dupes be able to work on it pretty much constantly. 
And we don't need a ton of plastic, just enough to make a tube around the around the base, plus uh, a couple of plastic beds. In fact, soon we'll have enough plastic to make proper beds. I can redo my bedrooms. Let's just keep digging all this out, dig all that out. Dig right to the edge here. Kind of straighten things out, flatten things out. Oh, we got a trap dupe. Look what I've done. They're going to jump up here, aren't they? Okay, they're going to have to dig themselves out of here. Oh, you silly little bugger. Okay. Okay, no. Okay, you're gonna go <laughs> straight through here, and then down, and then around, before you die. Cancel all this so they don't kill themselves. Oh, they're still kind of stuck, okay. Uh, you can get up there, you can get up there. Get out of there! He lived, I think. Yeah, he's fine. Anyone else stuck down there? <laughs> okay, that's coming out. Getting fossil. S smoothing all this out. I don't want this, actually I don't want this to crack. This could crack, it's kind of thin. But I think I'm going to end the episode here because we got everything done I wanted to get done. We got oil refinery set up. We got plastic making going. We, I fixed my oxygen lines so they're a little bit better now. We got CO2 going to Slickster's kind of. They're a little bit broken, but we'll continue to strip mine this out. So the oil can all flow down into this pit here. I'm going to actually cancel that. I might make another giant pit right here. Because this might not be able to flow down. And we'll get refined carbon going here. I'm not going to do it forever. I'll do... 20. Priority 7. Yeah, so next episode, we might head up into space. Uh, I'll probably just look at, try to discover the rest of the map first, though. And we'll just start making lots of steel, because we need tons of steel to be able to go to space. And that'll take a while. Right now we're doing iron. How much iron do we have now? Seven, seven tons. We can probably switch to steel now. Let's make this uh, zero and iron to steel. I'm not going to do it forever. I just want to make sure the temperature of everything coming out of that is okay. Because the iron heats up the coolant a lot more. But it's going in at minus 10, so it should be fine. This area is going to get pretty hot, though. Might want to put another Weezwort in there. I'll have to go find one. Is my pipe full? No. What is it doing here? It's flashing. Okay, now it's working. Got all sorts of things in there. I think we just got our first piece of steel popping out there. Maybe. Showing up. 
it used to show up under metal ore, even though it's a refined metal. What is this output pipe full? Garbage. I think this is messing me up here. I'm gonna empty that pipe. Actually, I gotta deconstruct this. Let's deconstruct this first. Then we'll empty this pipe. Let's just, I'm gonna, I, I wanna do this before we finish here. Empty that pipe. Come around here. Priority eight, insulated pipe. I gotta sleep first. I haven't really looked at the base, kind of the whole episode. It seems fine though. A little bit warm up here. Probably have enough lime for a while, so I'm gonna cancel this fossil to lime build. I'll leave that at zero. Okay, let's put that steel order back in. Maybe not forever. Let's do do a few tests. Come on, bubbles, make us some steel. There's steel right there. It's not showing up on any... What the heck? Is it something else now? Iron, texan, and copper, wolframite, iron ore. There is steel here, right? Yeah, it's right there. Uh, is it miscellaneous now? Manufactured material? Oh, it's manufactured. They keep moving things around. Okay, if you're looking for a seal, there it is. It used to be under metal ore. But we're, uh, we're going to end things here. Next episode, like I said, either space or some more exploration or both. But probably just make a bunch of steel, explore the map, maybe take on another eight dupes or 16 dupes because we got the oxygen and we got the water. Let's check our water up here. Our slush geyser. Yeah, it's just, just so much water. And I gotta uncap this geyser. What the heck? Why are you standing around here? What a strange place to stand around. Anyway. Uh, we gotta uncap this geyser here. <laughs> so I'll do that next episode. Hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.